I'm Hovey Smith, and I am the principal involved in the production of a novel, screenplay, and new movie, Father of the Grooms. And this is the first day of a nine-day tour through Sicily. And we started off at Palermo at the Royal Palace. And what you see here in the normal plaza is the royal seal, of course. And then once you walk into this imposing building, you're into this large courtyard. Now this building has both practical and significant historical value. Uh, it is used by an assembly which actually governs the island. So 500 delegates come here and meet from time to time and actually run the island's affairs. One of the things involved that is most beautiful is the royal chapel inside. Uh, this is a small chapel as such things go. But as you can see, it's beautifully decorated with mosaics. Uh, you see the mosaic on the top half, and then the bottom half is decorated primarily with techniques that derived from actually the Islamic tradition where geomet geometric patterns are used. The planar parts look something like this. You have stonework and you have a window which allows some light to come in with some cut tracery in the Islamic fashion. And here is a plaque explaining the chapel which was built by Rodrigo II or Roger II in English and uh, that is how you will find it today. This device is a modern Sicilian flag. The legs represent the three capes, the head of Medusa in the middle, the wings of Dalius on the side, and sheaves of grain. And as you will hear, was adopted quite recently. What about uh, our official flag? Uh, it's a very modern flag because uh, um, it's uh, our official flag from uh, 2000. And uh, this is uh, the typical symbol uh, of the Sicily. This is called the Trinacria. Uh, the three legs in the <coughs> are the three uh, parts of the Sicily and the three cape. Cape Peloro, Cape uh, Capo Passero and Cape Liribeo o Boeo. Um, this is uh, uh, Marsala. Hmm? This is a street view of Palermo as we were driving up to the next site we visited, which is a hill above the town that was cooler and also easier to defend. And that's where a cathedral and actually another palace was built. Palermo was partially destroyed by bombing during World War II and has been hit by earthquakes from time to time. This interesting figure of a guy in real distress is uh, actually naturally formed from trimmed branches. Uh, due to the somewhat sexual nature of the movie I'm going to be produced and follow the grooms, uh, I couldn't resist including a picture of this. This is the cathedral at Palermo. Uh, this is a big, imposing structure, and it is quite large. Here is the outside again. There are many little uh, monuments on the inside in apses, including uh, this one to this particular father right here, who was active against the mafia and was killed for his efforts. Uh, these famous bronze doors are, of course, on the outside. And here's a crowd uh, gathered on the outside. You'll see the arrow slits uh, in the ends of the towers. And here's the interior of the cathedral. Very similar to the others, you have the Byzantine kind of decorations in the nave and apse. And up there at the top, of course, Christ. And... Interestingly enough, we'll actually see the king who built it in a little bit. And these are columns, and again, the Islamic style of decoration on the arches. Uh, there are scenes from the Bible done in mosaics. These are not paintings. These are little chips of old glass and stone, etc., etc., laid very meticulously. 
And this is the roof, which is wood and is decorated. And this is why fire in such buildings, all you, although you would think them all stone, uh, is so dangerous because these wooden roofs will burn with great enthusiasm and collapse, as happened recently with Notre Dame. The decorations on here is really, really spectacular. And here's another view. Now, William I of Sicily and William II are buried here. And I happen to be named William, and I'm of English extraction, as were they. So we may be some sort of distantly related relatives. So it's interesting to see that. Now, this is a king of Sicily, and he's being anointed by the Lord. So he is serving by divine right, he would imply. Now, cloistered nuns and monks spent their lives in buildings like this. And in particular, difficult women might be confined in here for life. So uh, they had best behave their husbands and behave in general, or they could find themselves a sentence, literally, to a life sentence inside a cloister. The monks, uh, before meals, uh, use this basin here to clean themselves. Now, some of our tour members were looking for ancestors, and some had some documentation like this one, which shows the ship that they left on. We also visited the sea salt mining at Salina, and then we visited a winery, and this is at Masala, and the winery uh, inside, of course, has wine vats for fermentation, and uh, we had a nice lady who talked us through the process and exactly what they did, as she's doing right here. And we had a chance to do a wine tasting. Now, this is more than the usual wine. And here's a beautiful ship model they had on the inside for decoration. I'd love to be able to build something like that. And she is standing in front of her cask of aging wines. Now, this particular wine is aged up to 12 years and sold and cost and categorized according to its origin, its age, and its content. And this is a wine-pouring vessel uh, recovered from the island. Uh, here we have Ulysses, and he is presenting wine to the Cyclops, and an interesting old Fiat. Uh, the Italians like their old cars. Now, my nine-day tour was offered by Dimensiones Cecilia, and they run tours out of Palermo. And we stayed in three to five star hotels in Palermo, Messina, Argento, and Catania. And I also took an extra Godfather tour to see some of the sites that the movie was actually filmed in. And this is the first day, and our tour mixed food, culture, and visits to some of the best preserved Norman churches in the world, which, as you saw, combined Islamic and Norman architectural and decorative techniques. Our tour group wasn't huge. Uh, it varied from 19 to 21. Uh, our guides were native Sicilians. You saw Gloria in this video, and you'll meet the other, Placido, uh, in the next. Now, some of the older participants had some trouble, including me, uh, just with the walking, the steepness of the incline, the irregular services of the cobblestone streets, which these Italian women walk around with six-inch heels, by the way. But uh, you could sit, sit parts of the tour out and join it later, or um, actually opt out of sections altogether if you thought they were going to be too strenuous for you. Now, I was gathering material to research my forthcoming novel, Father of the Grooms, which we're going to turn into a screenplay and hopefully a movie. And I've got a Kickstarter project going, and you can join it by going to fatherofthegrooms.net. I'll publish the book in about a year, but in the meantime, I'll send you chapters as I write them. And you can comment on those chapters and participate if I happen to get something wrong. Goodbye, and God bless. See you in the movies.